Shut up and sit down. 15-20 minutes, I figured, you know, you said no, you're busy, I'm yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 please, let, let's not wrap let's yeah. do this right. All right, now, to start, um, do you want me to tell you anything in the history of me and John, or do you want me to... Well, I kind of know that, you? just by watching the, you know, the videos. Okay. So, so, whatever the case may be, you and him had a, a falling out, and I know that you, you said, I saw a video, you said that you went to the police station and you filled out a report. So, yes, sir. yeah, okay. so what was the, re obviously it's classified as a certain crime or incident or whatever. Yes. So what was, what did they title it as? What did they classify okay. it under? What, what crime? Okay, it's, it's classified under, under harassment. Harassment, okay. Yeah, they, they recommended a PPO on it. Um, so the reason why I went there is, you know, Joe, I'm not scared of many things. I'm not scared of... <laughs> any man i'm not saying i'm superhero or anything and i'm not out to fight yeah i hear you i'm an educated person mm -hmm. um I, so i made the report just so they have record of it just okay so if, uh, you know i don't want anyone to come around or bother and i don't want to hurt anyone i don't want anyone to hurt me or my family so i made a report because i was told i'm not going to name this person's name that johnny told them um, the some mafia i don't even take it serious anymore. The Chaldean or Albanian mafia is, uh, yeah. is, he has connections in Detroit and they're going to, you know, they're going to uh, get me and all this. So that, that's one of the reasons. So it was from a third party though. It wasn't from John. 
Well, John John did make some threats, and he took it out of the video. John did make some threats, um, and what John did to just to let you know was it's this is open. My my sister Jamel, I call her my sister. She is my first cousin. I'm not going to give her last name. She's my mentor. She she's everything to me. I, I have a family, and he's he's upset a lot, a lot of people. Because this, this is personal, what he's done. Um, you know what, what he also too was just to, then we could get back to what you're saying. He's committed a crime by, and he's on video. We have that saying that he's not taping me. He taped me, and he put out. Um, he put out this. Uh, uh, it's on video. Well, he's saying he's yeah. not taping me. He's taping me talking. Well, Rob, Rob, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the law is in Arizona because that's where he was taping you from, I guess. I'm taping you from New York, and New York is a single-party consent state. So I, would, I wouldn't even have to tell you I was taping you, but you know, I mean, obviously you knew that. But I'm just, just for, for you know, FYI purposes, he could say that if Arizona is single-party consent, he could tell you I'm not taping you and be taping you, and he's okay, yeah, yeah. totally, it's legit. You know. You know, it's not a big deal. I'm not, you know. I'm not gonna do anything with yeah. that thing. No, but you knew this was for a show, so obviously you knew it was gonna be recorded, so Oh, your show? I'm just telling you we're on yeah. a show and I'm giving you permission. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying that I'm, per- I'm giving you permission to put it out. Um, and you know, uh, you're fine. You know, the only thing he did is he says he doesn't lie and then he's sitting there taping me and saying he's not taping me. So just right there that's a lie. And another thing is, then the, um, the FBI's also involved. Now, uh, I'm trying to, you, you, you sound a little muffled. You're not coming in clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got I'm you better now. Up. All right, so you filled you filled out a harassment complaint at your local police station in Michigan. Now, harassment is a violation. It's a very, it's not even considered a crime. It's it's not a misdemeanor nor felony. It's, con- yes. it's considered, an, it's considered... Um, a violation. Now, in New York, if it's not committed in the presence of a police officer, it's basically just the paperwork. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, so, how did the FBI? How did the they're FBI not- get involved? Some from a, something that's it's basically jaywalking equivalent of. How did how did it bump to an FBI level type of thing? They didn't get got some death threats. Okay. And from who? Um, I don't want to say from who, but um, but we've gotten some death threats in the now. This is. This another thing is he's he's got um, this Richard Rodriguez involved too. But Richard okay. Rodriguez is the WFN guy. He's in jail, yes. so how could he be doing okay. anything? Well, this is why he's involved too, and I let the FBI know this. Um, Johnny was on live, and he told me he couldn't see me or something. What it is, and I didn't know until after I seen the text. I guess he told me he's coming back on Richard Rodriguez's account. His uh, on Instagram or something, and it was called a certain name, which I have record of it. So you know, um, I did kind of expose. You know, if Johnny is making up this fake uh, information on me and the smug shots and all, and he'll say he didn't do nothing. He just didn't do nothing. He did do that. He did do a lot. So if he's done this. And I know some of these people personally. Okay, like you know that he exposed. I'll tell you what, that WFN bust was not true. Well, I mean, you know what? I'll be honest with you. That has nothing to do with this. So I'm, you know, okay. I, I, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. I guess you're trying yeah. to show you're trying to show me what kind of a character he, he has or possesses. And, yes. But but yes. basically, could we? I just I'd love to hear you, uh, this FBI well, thing. Me, to I'm me, is just your question. yeah. But I'm saying I want to get to the FBI thing. How did you get? I mean. FBI, uh, obviously, is, we're talking a, a different level here. Yeah, it is. I just wanted, um, it was just, my sister wanted to report it. Uh, there's things that he's, he's done and said, and others have, and, and they, they're going to trace everything. They're going to trace everything. People don't know, like, how serious we took it, my family took all this. Um, but, jo- all Rob, this. do you realize that even if somebody said, well, I'm going to kill you, Yes. That's still harassment. It's it's It doesn't go anywhere further than no, that. No, 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 no. Like, exactly, exactly. I mean, uh, in the past, uh, Jay Masters on a video said, oh, well, I'm going to come down here and I'll kill you. You know, I didn't take it seriously. Yeah. Like, Jay and I are fine. He's a good guy. And, you know, people say things in there. So, but there, there's a reason why I have to do an FBI thing. They are looking into things. I'm going to just keep it at that. I'm not, I, I, I'm not going to give that kind of information. Oh, no, okay, listen, I respect that. I'm just, to me, that, yeah. you know, we're talking 
two different, you know, apples and oranges from going to the local police station and saying there's some yeah. guy annoying me on the internet, which actually would be. I think, I think he's involved in other things. But this, all right, now, you said that, you know, this third party told you that Johnny was saying Albanian mob and stuff. So did yeah, anybody... I'm not worried about it. Did, I, I'm, not, I'm sure you're not worried about it, because, I mean, I'm, you probably didn't take it seriously. But did anybody actually approach you in person or come to your house or call you and say that they're uh, uh, somebody being sent to harm you because of this argument with John? Yes or no? Yeah, yes, I had some of uh, while you're stuck. Okay, that's so, all I'm going to say. Somebody came to your house? Yes, yes. Now, this wasn't the pizza guy now, right? Because I saw that video you posted. Right. Well, the, pe the pizza guy, when he comes over, we just give him a tip and go on his way. And okay. We don't take it serious. You know, the, these calls, also harassing calls, I just uh, block them. I'm not worried. The text is, I don't read. Yeah, no, um, listen, I, that's all bullshit stuff. Silly but, stuff. All right, and, so, you know, if I, if I want to come back on YouTube, no yeah, so somebody, an uh, actual person, came to your house and made a threat to you saying that they're going to do something to you because of Johnny Bravo told them to do oh, it. No, they, they, cut, they cut some wires and they got caught. How did they, what wires did they cut? I did see something on your video, you mentioning that, but it, that's... Why? Right? Yeah, like, Iran. what did they Iran cut, got... like your phone wires? Yeah, they cut some wires and, you know, internet and all that. And, you know, they, they got caught. Now the police... How did they get caught? The police has been watching my house. Rob, I, I hate... Didn't know, I, they didn't know anyone. So my police... Rob, I have, I have to be honest with you. I find it very hard to believe that a walk-in to a harassment complaint from an out-of-state internet argument is going to garner a police fixer post in front of your house. What do you mean? I... Uh, uh, a cop is not going to sit in front of your house because you made a harassment complaint. You you don't believe me? Could I get that? Could I get the cops on? Could you hold on for one minute? I would love to. I would love to one speak minute. to them about that. One minute. One minute. Your party's extension, press one. Okay, one minute. Sir. Otherwise, I just want to show you that. Okay. All right. I have a lot of relations. Press two. I have a lot of watching. Tech. Good morning, Police Department Officer. Hey, Officer. Uh, this is Robert Jordan. Um, I have someone else on the line, but I, I just wanted to make sure they're still watching my house. Well. Tell me a little bit more, because I'm, I'm not familiar you remember, with it. You remember I'm the one that was getting the threats, and uh, um, it, some other things happened around my house. It was so Are you uh, the guy that sending sending you pizzas to your house? Yes, that's it. You guys are still watching? Yeah, we're still watching your house. I, I remember okay. I was there. Okay, great, great. And All right. I didn't to do that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Rob, you there? Oh, fuck. He hung me up. Hey, Rob. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. All right, so you know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm very surprised to hear that because, uh, to me, it would seem that, um, you know, something like this, it's very uh, small on the pecking order Let of me tell you, issues. He doesn't believe me. What do you live in, a one-horse town? <laughs> Fucking Mayberry? <laughs> Nice, big house, yeah, neighborhood. I saw your house looks lovely. I saw it on, yeah, in your video. It looks like a beautiful I, home. And we could, we talk, I've done very, very, very well financially. My okay, life. and that's okay. fine. Listen, that's... that's okay. But, but wait, so, so they saw they saw this guy cutting the wires and they locked him up? Yeah, a couple guys. But this what did they the, charge them with? Uh, I don't want to... I'm not going to get into that. They're, they're still looking at... We're, we're seeing what's going on with Johnny. That's it. I'm not going to say more than that. But now the thing is... Um, the thing is now, the thing is where he made a mistake, he put my house on on, uh, on uh, video, okay? Well, you did the same thing though, Rob. Did to who? I saw your house on your video with the box, the delivery box. 
Exactly, but he had no one. He had no right to do that. But you know, as far as like getting back to the police and all that, I've been. I have a lot of good connections, and I do some things for a living that I can't discuss. Mm-hmm. So you heard, no police would uh, come around your house. Uh, you know, all day, all the time. Okay. Um, how about this? I have a police a twenty four hour watch. Well, I can't dispute that now, and I have to. Uh, I'm going to be a man and admit that because I don't think you just. I don't think you just had somebody to call and answer the phone and say they were the police no, no, department. No, I can do it again. I, no, no. Listen, I will take that on face value and say that it sounded okay. like it was legitimate. Okay. I'm just. You know, I guess uh, I'm from New York City, and be, he doesn't. He doesn't know what he's playing with. But wait, you know what I mean? but you even, but Rob, you yeah. even said that it was a third party that told you this, that so you're not even sure. If John, John's made some threats too, but he took it out of the video. What he's doing is this, sir. He's editing the videos the way what he wants me to, um, what, what he wants people to hear. He's not putting the other stuff saying that, um, that I did something to this Robbie boy. For John to say, say this, he has no self-respect. And uh, he said some other things. He has a video, so I'm not going to tell you about it. If you want to know him, tell him to let you hear the whole thing. The guy's going to get himself in a mess. And I I guarantee it, the FBI is watching him and, and seeing what's going on with everything. All right, so now just, these just, th- these guys cut the wires at your house. The police mm-hmm. see him, uh, them, and they, they take them into custody. What did these guys say to the cops? Like, what were they doing it for? I'm not going to say. I'll just say that um, that I told them what's going on with Johnny. He, here's a video of my house. Um, he's been threatening. He threatened to send people over through through the third party. And he's made some threats. And his name's on this. I mean, people, see people, they'll get on the internet and say, oh, he's lying. He doesn't know the lot. What's He doesn't work. I don't care what they say. Oh, I, Rob, I'll be honest with you. I, it's none of my business what you do for a living. I wouldn't, no, 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 I, I, that, that is not. I, it, I, kinda, I know this is going to go on radio and I want them to see. And um, is there anything else like besides, besides this thing? Do you want to talk about anything else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I want a couple more things. When were these guys locked up for, for cutting the, the wiring at your house? This was maybe like a week ago when this was going on and all that. Okay. You know, all right. No, that's released. pretty interesting. They've been released. That's so pretty. That, that, that let's put behind us all this police stuff. You heard that they're watching my house. I have connections. I have. I have. I'm just telling you that I leave it at that. And I can't say a lot of stuff what I do for a living too. And no, listen. I, I, I honestly, I, I really, it's, it, it has no bearing on well, what this does. That. Yeah. I no, I know. So not, what, what else do you want to talk about? Um. Well, I know that uh, you know you you got. You got mad when Johnny asked you some of these questions that the Misfits asked you on the podcast, which were the same yes. ones. Now, one of one of them was the living, what you do for a living. So I don't, we already established, well, I don't give a fuck about that. But yes. the whole thing with The Rock. Now, obviously, The Rock is a very popular guy yes. in all aspects. Yes. So how, how do you, I'm not saying you don't, but how do you have a, uh, uh, you know, how do you guys, how do you know him, basically? Okay, I'll tell you exactly how I know him, all right? I met him. Uh, I met him years ago. Okay, in a, in the gym we used to train. And anyone that knows this, it was a uh, um, it was at Powerhouse on Ford Road, and it was at a Powerhouse. Met him and all that. Where in, in Michigan? In Michigan, I seen him again at another gym. It was called uh, Big Daddy's. So um, he gave me his number. He seen I'm sincere. He liked me very very much. Okay, we worked out together. And um, in June of this past uh, past year, our last uh, last June, me and him went and trained. He came. He was in town. We went and trained at uh, Lifetime Fitness. No, that late at night, so no one bothers him. Mm-hmm. I've known I know I've known Dwayne, Joe, and all uh, his family for years and years. Okay, um, since two thousand two. Then I started managing, and you could look into it. Um, Mike Martin. He's on. He played in the NFL. Mike Martin's from Detroit. He played for Catholic Central, and Mike Martin played for Michigan. Um, I, I met Mike Martin, um, uh, it's been maybe like four four years ago, three years ago. Mm-hmm. I managed and mentored him for one year and trained him. He was with the Tennessee Titans for four years. And he was on the show um, Muscle uh, uh, American Muscle with Dominic Sue, and he outdid him and all that. So me and Mike became very close. I managed him, I helped him, I mentored him. 
he couldn't play in the NFL. Well, he he got cut from Philadelphia, and on uh, um, it was June, I believe, seventeenth, or June, June uh, or August twenty eighth. 2017 because his knee so he was going to miami of florida and um and for his master's degree okay he was doing his master's degree for uh real estate while he was in the nfl and then he he uh ran into the rock again and we kept in touch and that's how it is i mean i have a relationship with him and then um i met i met dana garcia and dave renzi they have a um Jim Renzi in Sunrise, Florida. I had involvement in it, and I showed the guys there. I'm on their, uh, on their, uh, um, on their, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, not Facebook. What do they call it? The, um, LinkedIn. Their web website. Their website. Okay. So, you know, people were calling me, and I agreed to answer and all that. And I was hoping right. that we would do. I was hoping we'd do another gym in Birmingham, Troy area. So that's how it is, okay? And people, I'm not going to come on and say give personal business and show pictures of me in the rock to these trolls. I hear you. Okay. So you know, you know, Dan, you know, Danny Garcia also. You mentioned her, right? Dana Garcia, yes. Well, Danny, yes. his name is Danny. Actually, it's D A N I. Yeah. yeah, it's. You the, mean his wife, ex-wife? His ex-wife, who is his manager now, his PR yes, person. Yes, so his manager, yeah. and, and Dave Renzi's has been his uh, trainer for for uh, three years, and they're married now. Dana and uh, um, uh, I've always called her Dana and, and Renzi, yeah. Dave Renzi. So um, and then I have a good relationship with his, his assistant Crystal. We keep in touch all the time. Okay. So I talk to her. I, I you know, the Dwayne's busy. The Rock's busy. I can't call him and you know, I don't, I don't go and uh, um, you know, uh, um, go around with them. Um, you know, go. He, he doesn't have time for this. No, I understand. But Rob, so, could I ask you something? You seem sure. you seem like you, you backed up the question pretty good here. You had you know you, you threw some of the right names at me that I was ex- of you know. Course. So then, I'm not, I don't mind about no, I know. But if if why didn't you just the same way you just gave me that explanation? Why didn't you just I'm, tell John and then it, it, it would I'm have been squashed? You, and I'll tell you why the misfits were very very respectful. I knew we were having an interview, and I knew I am having an interview with you now. Yeah. Okay? And let me know if this this makes sense. Okay. So, Joe, if you come on, and I'm on live with uh, 70 people, let's say, and these are probably uh, 50 of them hate me for whatever reason. <laughs> reason. You know what I mean? That's the way it is, Rob. This industry is very screwed up, buddy. <laughs> Isn't it screwed up? Well, it's terrible. They, 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 grow, they grow the channels and all that. Yeah. Which I don't know if I even want that, but we'll, we'll see. Okay. And so Johnny, um, Johnny comes on, he pops up, and I know Johnny does documentaries and does all this stuff, but we're friends. Me and Johnny, we text, we call, we laugh, we joke. You know, we joke about Jason, it's funny, some of the things. You know, so we, we had a good time. One time he came on and, you know, he's like, uh, he this meant a lot to me. And then I'll get back to about Johnny. Mm-hmm. His parent, he gets his parents, we're both from the, our parents are, uh, mine are from Lebanon, his are from uh, uh, Lebanon and Syria. So we okay. have, both have a Middle Eastern background. Sure. I'm born here in, mm-hmm. in Michigan. So um, his he gets his parents, his dad on, he's like, Dad, Dad, guess who it is? He's like, who? He goes, it's Big Rob, it's Big Rob. And I guess he liked the comedy, the Italian, uh, Middle Eastern mobster dad, the, you know, silly video I Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he calls his mom, he says, is it Big Rob? So that, that meant so much to me. That meant, wow, you know, I invited his family in the, in, you know, Middle Eastern culture were very generous. Yeah. If someone comes to town, I've even told Jay Masters this, and I don't know if I would trust him to stay in my house because Jay sometimes has a dirty mind, so. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he's a little crazy, but I, I do love the guy. So, you know, in the Middle Eastern culture, you know, we I invited him over from Arizona, his parents, to come stay with us. And, you know, that's how we are. Yeah. So, me and Johnny, we were friends. Wow, you know, that's we have, we're good friends now. We're loyal. I used to promote him. I used to tell people about his channel. I used to make videos because he's into his looks. And then he used it against me. I'd say he's handsome. I'm not gay. <laughs> I have a beautiful wife for 16 years, okay? Could you tell me I'm handsome? I'm jealous. <laughs> I have to see your picture first. Uh, fair enough. Handsome, it doesn't mean I want to do it. I'm I got gotcha. you. It's just, like if you, see, if you see Frank Zane's belt or Arnold's, you say, wow, 
I want to look like that. Yeah, but so you don't want to sleep with him. Mind if we see something, uh, yeah. uh, you know, and, and Johnny wants Johnny wants to be a, a ladies' man, and he, he's into his looks and tanning and fixing his hair. So this is okay. what happened with that. Okay. Yeah. So he comes on live, and I'm like, "Hey, it's Johnny Bravo. You guys want to? You should check him out. Johnny Bravo TV Fitness. Oh, Fitness. Johnny Bravo Fitness. I'm trying to promote him, and he's like coming on. He's going to rap. He goes, uh. You know, I, I got to interview you. I'm like, well, what, what, what do you mean? You know, he's like, I, I want to interview you. I go, he goes, you want me to do it now? I'm like, well, should I wait? Because you're not going to like the questions I'm going to ask. And he did say that. He okay. Say that. Yeah. But I thought he's going to ask me questions. He's never asked me these questions. And we've been talking and texting all the time for a long time. Mm-hmm. So why would someone sucker punch you in front of a room, get you off guard that you think it's your friend, okay? So he comes on, the first question is, what I do for a living, you know, and I, I'm into business, and I do some other things, and they know that I own a, a janitorial company, I do some other things, I didn't want to get specific. All right, but that's... Ask me if he's my friend, now I won't tell him, he's not my friend, you know, so he doesn't need to know. Next question is how I know the rock, okay? I'm not going to tell them you know, how exactly, and, he, and people ask me, oh, prove it, give us pictures. I don't have to prove my ass to anyone, okay. especially these unloyal uh, trolls. I don't have to, be, now, would The Rock ever be on my, would I ever get a video with him, uh, working out or doing something? Maybe, maybe if he has time, but, you know, he, he has more to worry about than Big Rob Fitness. Yeah. Okay, so that was the next thing. He asked me, that's fine, okay. Now, the third question, and the misfits asked me this, but that's fine. He asked it in a different way. No one on that screen was right in this. See, Johnny is, uh, he's dishonest. I'm being, uh, just being, this is my opinion. We're not slandering him. We're I not hear you. Him. No, I get the it. Next, the next question is, he's looking at me. Uh, he's like, they say you have your mental conditions. What's your mental and this and that? And that really got me. So I'm like, no, there isn't. You know, if we want to talk about this outside of here, you know, we all get anxiety. Yeah. I'm trying to be a positive role model, and I want to do a, a professional documentary on my life with a professional. Uh, I've had uh, professional um, uh, filmmakers uh, approach me just recently. They contact me. They want to do a documentary and do other things. So I'm going to do things professional if I come back. What What um, is there? I mean, I'm not saying that it's not warranted, but... Yes. Like, what is the, I mean, documentaries are usually about it's people that have a special story. Life. It's going to be about my life, how, you know, the struggles and where I'm at today. And that's going to be what's going to inspire and motivate. That's my whole thing, to inspire and motivate. What were your struggles, if you don't mind me asking, what were your struggles that you overcame and you're doing what you do now? Okay, um, my struggles are... And this is why I got a, I got a little upset at Johnny. But the way he asked it, see how you're asking it, you're not like asking, so we hear you have mental problems. But sometimes I'll throw you asking it in a very appropriate, respectable way. And I want to be a role model. There's no autistic, okay? There's never been, di- I've never been uh, diagnosed with autistic or, or, you know, we all get anxiety, we ha- all have uh, struggles. For okay. Right? You're a little muffled, Rob. I'm having trouble okay. hearing you. I'm sorry. Okay, so, so, okay uh, much better. I can hear you better now. I'm sorry. We, we all get we all, all get depressed. We all get anxious. Absolutely. We, do, we yes. all have ups and downs. Yes. But, you know, it doesn't mean that you have all these mental conditions. Now, this is where this is, gets gets very interesting. As, as a little boy, um, my parents always spoke Arabic in our house, okay? Mm-hmm. So, in, in third grade, and this was going to be saved for later, and I want people to be motivated by this. In third grade, um, I guess they found out I was little, um, uh, had a little trouble reading and all that. Now, I didn't wear glasses. I have stigmatism because, you know, is this this is all goes to my, like, why I was doing this bullying on my YouTube. And, but then I went from one place to another to, you know, calling out people for friends. And that's where, well, that's where the problems happen. But so, you know, I had this um, reading problem. So, you know, I didn't wear glasses. Um, I guess I was always concerned about my family. My mind was always occupied, always racing. Okay? So, are you, are you hearing me good, Joe? I hear you good, yeah. Yeah, okay, you're good, good, Rob. Buddy. Good, good. I want to make sure. Mm-hmm. So, from there, we... Um, um, from there, from there, you know, I had these uh, reading difficulties. And, uh, so, you know, I started... Every time I would have to read, I don't know how this is, 
I would get, I would raise my hand to go to the bathroom before I was maybe the third one ready to read to get away with it because I didn't want to. You didn't want to be a put on the spot, yeah. Yeah, in front of the, the classmates. I, you know, I knew how to read some words. Maybe I couldn't on some and all that. So you know, I had I had some problems in school, but I I got through it. Okay, I struggled. Then I started wearing glasses in college. I have stigmatism. I mean, if how could you how could, if you don't see the ch- chalkboard, how could you read? learn yeah okay. okay that's one of the things okay plus you know my mind was always recent and always concerned you know you get you know, you, you know i've always cared and worried about people honestly that has uh that's you know affected my life because i'm the type that you know if i love someone my friend family i really care for them i'll give my life for them so you know from there i i got through high school graduated with a 2.1 I knew that I have to start reading better and doing things, so I started wearing glasses. I went to um, a community college, Schoolcraft College. I was working at the time as a waiter, paying for my school with my father's help. I went to a community college. I graduated, I think, with a 3.0. I, it took me like three years because I was working full-time as a waiter. Mm-hmm. And um, from there, I, got, I applied for the School of Management of the University of Michigan. Okay, so I got in there, I got a management degree, uh, finance with a minor in sociology. And in school, they used to tell me that, you know, I have a learning disability because my reading or whatever it is. So, um, you know, I had some classes that they would help me uh, read or whatever it is. I don't think it was special. I don't think it was special ed, you know, because even nowadays, if you have... If you have trouble, like, you know, um, pronouncing all, they'll take you in a special room and work with you. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm-hmm. So back then they may have called us something else. But that's where it's very, very, I've, I've done well in my life with all this, you know, struggles. And, you know, uh, growing up, you know, my father always, he was a purchasing executive. He always expected so much out of me. And that was a lot of pressure with, you know, what I had. And my parents really, like nowadays we know. But being from the old country, they really don't know how to how to deal with these things. Now with our kids, we know like we pay attention to their school, what's going on, if they have any problems. We we go to the conferences, the uh, teachers, and all that. No one really did that. Maybe my dad did, um, you know, when he was able to, because he met good. He was always working and you know very hard worker. So that's what it is. I think that's a true success story. I really didn't learn to read and write really well until I was in college, and I still continue to make mistakes. So that's where that question really affected me. I felt he sucker punched me in, in a room full of people, and I feel that he may have known something. I, I don't know, but he said that other people are saying this stuff, and but you know that that's where that is. So you basically you 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 had reading difficulties because you really your eyesight wasn't you mm-hmm. weren't wearing corrective uh, lenses of any kind. Yeah, and I have stigmatism, as you could see. If I think like that, it's very blurry. Yeah, yeah. So so and the, I never wore glasses. That's what that's a sad thing. So the film is about how you overcame these things all those years. Yeah, Why didn't you just I get... I've had very big successful uh, um, union paint companies. I've had uh, roofing company. I've but why didn't... I, I don't know how school is in Michigan, but in New York, they used to give us hearing and eye tests all the time. They never did that when you were in elementary school as a kid? Yeah, they probably did. I'm sure they did. And I think that I did get glasses, but I was ashamed to wear them. I was going to say, why don't you just get glasses? It, it, your difficulties yeah, would have been a lot probably, simpler, you know. I think I did, I think, but I was ashamed to wear them. So, you know, that, that and even like being Middle Eastern, I think the, um, the, the war was going on in Iraq. So that, like, you know... People don't make it easy either for you. You know, I was a small, skinny kid. Okay. okay. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think I was bullied. People always liked me. But, you know, you know, they would say discrimination things and, you know, things that weren't appropriate. So, you know, I kind of felt a little different. And that, that's one of the reasons, Joe, where I'm, I'm on this. As you can see, I say this humanity. And a lot of people probably say, oh, this fucking guy is, is phony and it, and all he does is fight with people and all that. But it's not. It's not. It's, you know, I really care about bringing people together. I don't care if you're Jewish, Muslim, yeah. Christian, white, black, whatever. Yeah, no, you seem to, you always seem to try at the end of your video, you put a positive message. So I, I really do. Yeah, yeah, I get I really, it. really, really do. And, and, you know, a lot of things, Joe, what people don't understand is, 
is these superhero outfits or this crazy Yusuf, uh, the mobster that, that Johnny named Yusuf. It's funny. He's the one that really encouraged me. And I don't know if he encouraged me to do this character to make fun of me or because he thought it's funny. Because I don't know about Johnny because, you know, as far as Jason and all that, you know, he said some things, but I'm not going to get into it. Nothing, no big deal. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I always try to help people. Did you see in my videos, too, I used to have, like, uh, hotlines for suicide, hotlines for uh, um, substance abuse, hotlines for um, bullying. This stuff, I was the one always, even though I had my own problems, I was the one to take care of others. If I seen someone sitting alone on a lunch, lunch table, I was the one to make them comfortable. Say, oh, come sit with us. I, you know, I've always had that. I've always yeah. draw people. Like, even this new gym I'm at. I've drawn so many people, it's unbelievable, within like two weeks, you know, people feel that they trust me, they feel comfortable with me. Now, the thing with me, Joe, is when I feel someone does something wrong, I just lose it. I just feel, because I expect everyone to be like me, loyal, honest, and direct. But yeah. you're not going to get that. No, and especially me, on, online, people are going to yeah, be yeah. real that's ruthless. Where, that's, where, that's where Johnny really hurt my heart. He but really what? But, when you got asked the same questions on the Misfits podcast, you didn't react the same no, way. Because well, we knew it, we knew it's going to be an interview. Yeah, but I mean, Johnny. all right. So even if even if let's say you weren't expecting those questions until the last moment when John asked them, why did you get upset when you didn't get upset when they were asked of you previously by someone else? Okay. Well, nor from me now because I kind of asked you similar questions. Okay. Okay, very good, very good, yeah. very good question. Yeah, I'm just curious. So I got off, I got off, Joe, and this is exactly what happened. The first thing he does is send me smiley faces, a bunch of them laughing, and says, ha, 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 I have to text with that. Okay, so right there, that told me that he was fucking trying to embarrass me. He, by those, he's putting me on this spot. He thought that I don't work. Or I'm, what, if I'm sitting on millions, good for me, I'm very successful. Whatever yeah. I do, or how I know the rock and all that. But anyway, so he um, he sends his met texts, these mess, ha ha ha, and all this crap. And he calls me, and I'm like, Johnny, why did you do that? He's like, you told me to interview you, laughing. And he starts telling me he's going out to go go get sushi and kind of changing the subject. And tells me, oh, it takes me two hours to fix my hair. And well, Rob, I gotta I gotta say, yeah. I am jealous of his hair. He has nice yeah, hair. Yeah, but he is losing. <laughs> he is losing. Well, I'm losing a lot more than him, so I'm still jealous of his hair. You look good. You look good. I've seen you. You look good. Don't worry about that. God bless him. I wish Johnny luck, and I hope he keeps his hair forever. I never compete with anyone, just myself. And that was one of my uh, things in my videos I was going to... I'm trying to do is only compete with yourself. Yeah, you know? but when the misfits asked you about the the yes. mental disability, or whatever, you didn't get upset though. But no, I didn't because it wasn't because I was prepared. These guys are asking me questions, telling me ahead of time. Is we have an interview, and um, and you know these guys didn't know me. I I didn't even know the difference who Andrew was. Yeah, uh, okay. Andrew, uh, Brad, Brad, yeah, and I'm Lenny, Len. Jay Masters. I think Del, uh, Dale Chance is with them. Okay. I really like, I really, really, really like, I, what's awesome is this, um, uh, could I tell you a little bit about Jay Masters? Please. Okay, what's awesome about Jay Masters is we got into it, and you know, back and forth, and for some reason, I've never ever had my own, like, no one ever stick up for me, whether it was sincere or not, I don't know if it was sincere or not, because... We, we're not, we haven't been talking. Mm -hmm. I've never had anyone have my back like that. And when he did it, like if someone would do something, or, or Jason, he was trying to get the trolls off me. I've never had someone, I felt he was so sincere. I felt he was a uh, 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 best friend, an older brother. And another one was Adam Pollard, if you probably know who he is. Yes, I do, yeah. Okay, well, he's he's the one that mentioned some things about Johnny. Now, I don't know. You know, you know, Joe, it's always bad to create problems or say something to someone to, to get someone against them. Or if he cared, he would have he would have took care of it himself. Or I don't know if it was even true or whatever it is. And I don't know why Adam did that. Um, but as far as Jay Masters, you know, the Misfits, they've been great. Andrew's been awesome to me. Whenever yeah, I talk to him or text him, he really is. Now, Brad, Brad, do you know Brad Wolf? Yes, I do. 
Yeah. Is he your friend? I I've never met him or Andrew, but I've I've interviewed them on Skype and spoke to them on the phone and stuff. With, with all due respect, uh, Andrew's was a bit Lenny seemed like such a big hearted person, mm-hmm. and just a nice person. Jay, I told you how much I like Andrew. Seems so sincere. But I'll tell you what that um that uh, Brad has is very arrogant with a big mouth and cussing me all the time. I didn't know, and you know I've told Andrew. People tell me, and I I don't even watch. I don't even know anything about the guy. I don't know how his size. I don't know. I know he's a he's a he works for the post office. Yes, he does. And, yeah. And people are were telling me, oh, you know, he's just upset or jealous because Jay likes you or whatever it is. I, I don't I don't think that's it. He probably just I don't know if that's how he is because uh-uh. you know people certain characters like Big Jay Masters his character is like Archie Bunker. Yes. But as, as you can see, when he's, <laughs> is he just a funny guy? I, yeah, I find myself laughing when I watch his so shit, funny. yeah, I yeah. I watch his video on the, uh, about when he's telling those people uh, to bring him a woman, he's going to get her pregnant, and they're going to raise him <laughs> on their own. That's one of my favorite videos. Yeah, no, um, they are fucking funny, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's, he's just a funny, awesome guy, and, you know, sometimes people, we play these characters, you know, and he plays that character, but as you could see him, he's very kind, like, and you, you see him in the gym, He's a, he's a nice person. Or you see him like in a grocery talking to him. He's a nice person. Mm-hmm. He, he really is. He's not a pushover, but he's a nice person. Yeah, yeah. Now, Brad just seems like a, just the things he says about me, I don't know why he's saying that. And I'm not going to bad mouth him out of respect. Yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, Brad was, they were, they were all cool with me, so I don't know. I, I have no idea yeah, yeah, what yeah. the. That's fine, but someday I'd like to talk to Brad and he's going to see them. Yeah, you yeah. probably can work work that one out. Oh, <laughs> Let me ask some, though, Rob. The, when and then you, I want to get into Genova, please. Yes, I do want I do want to ask you about Jason as well. But you're, you're going to be surprised. One one thing about the box delivery when you were making that video that I saw on your your channel. Yes. Obviously, that wasn't anything in the box that was no, the it sabotage. Was a joke. It was a joke. No, 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 no. It was a real box. You were doing it as a joke. No, no, no. The box was really there. But uh, no, no. I know the box was there, right? but I mean. Of course, I was doing it as a joke. Okay. No, I. It, it, <laughs> and then you know, I'm like, what's in the box? What should I call well, that you know what? The whole theme of the video was that you were thinking the hitman were coming to get you, and then here's a box. No, not, so not, not, maybe not, that's not, why people are like this guy's a little. <laughs> you know, in Italian we say. In Italian, we say bots. If a guy's a little bots, you know, he's a little fucking crazy. A little, he's not playing with a full deck. So I, when I saw that video, I was like, "Holy shit!" It, it, you know. No, I was thinking okay. Right. All right. Well, you know what? You got me punked then because I, I believed it. I'm like, what's in the box? <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't don't understand. As I'm a sarcastic, funny guy, I really like to joke. I really like to joke. So that was all a joke. I knew exactly what was. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, so, going back to the hitman. So you, you don't really honestly believe that Johnny had people come to your house, do you? Um, I I think um, I don't want to say anything. Okay, fair enough. That's cool. That's your prerogative. All right. Because right now, let the, just let the whatever. Okay, that I and, um, no, pu- no know, pushing uh, it. I want to talk about Jason. Just yes, about please. Okay. What happened well, with Jay? Because I know you were doing stuff with Jay, and then you weren't. So ha- what happened? With, with J- Jason, uh, Jason Genova, or Jay Mans. J- uh, Jason Genova, I met. Okay, so Jason Genova. Okay, um, I don't know. I don't know how he called him a while ago, and then he called me. And we started talking. I never knew. The only thing I ever knew about him is he's got some uh, mental issues. Some well, he's got autism. Yeah, he has a few other things, yeah. but the the his a highest. A, a his, lot of it's an act, and I'll, I'll show it to you. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you. you. You're gonna see. You're gonna see that it's an act, and I'll, everyone. A lot of people know this too. Well, I've I've right. hung out with Jason in person, and he is very high functioning, but he does have. Autism and it's exactly you know. now. This is where where um I'll, I'll get I'll get back to how I met him and why what I was trying to do with him. Now, as far as Jason, um, why is it when he's on camera by himself, he acts uh, odd and he acts you know he's trying to do these ten minute videos because he told me like uh, two weeks ago or three weeks ago that you know to do my videos longer you get paid more. So he's. It's funny when he comes on and starts ordering 66 me and saying, I bought my wife. Me and my wife and kids really laugh about it. Honestly, that is so funny. <laughs> it is so funny. 
um, you know, because my wife is she's such an awesome person. I love her. We've been married for 16 years. So, you know, we think it's so funny. And, you know, but as far as Jason, um, now, the re yeah, and it's, and it's like workout, like when he's alone, he's he's acting odd and saying odd things. Now, when he's doing workout videos around the guys mm -hmm. or in an interview, he's, he's to totally acting uh, logical. So is this an act for people to feel sorry? And then he'll come on crying, saying his money has, his wife, his mom has control over money. Now, he's he's doing well. He he gets sixteen hundred dollars disability a month. Uh huh. He's he's getting I think sixteen hundred off YouTube. He works at the store. Yeah, yeah. And he's also he said something with gaming and yeah. selling these shirts, whatever. I don't know what he does with that. And his grandmother is extremely wealthy. They, she gives him money, too. That's where he got the condo from that he's living in. Yeah. You yeah. Know, this, I don't know if this is a fact, and it's not my business, but his grandma, they say, is worth $120 million. She has uh -oh. restaurants. And yeah, no, that I don't know, but I know that. I know, I, honestly, I have no idea. I just I heard, heard that the place that he is living in is actually his grandmother owns it, not his mom. But, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. To me, Jason, uh, yes, he has he has uh, some issues. I generally like Jason. I, 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 I've yeah, learned to be very patient with him. You need to have a lot of patience with Jason. His, his videos are entertaining. They are so very you know entertaining. He's say, right? Yes, he, he, is, yeah. he, he is a funny guy. Uh, like I said, I was with him in person when last time I was in Florida. We hung out the whole day and uh, into the evening, and we had a lot of laughs and stuff. Um, but, uh, so what, what went south? Like he was supposed to like, be like, you were going to like help him like get prepped for I a show really and was. stuff. Yeah. Okay. I was going to help him with it in many ways, in many ways. And he wanted some things from the rock, the autograph stuff. So eventually I would have got him these things when I was able to, but the, okay. you know, when I'm able, you know, this, like I said, the rock stock and Jason would be asking me, does the rock know me? Does the rock know me? And, you know, just. But anyway, so I, I seen a kid. I didn't know. I got into YouTube. It was August uh, 28th, 2017. All right. I seen that Rich Piana, God rest his soul, was um, was was uh, um, was uh, having some health issues. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got on without knowing much about it. I don't know why. I, you know, I got on and started talking about, you know, the dangers of steroids and all that. And, you know, whatever people do, it's their business. Rich, uh, uh, Rich was very entertaining. Yeah, I think he was. He was a great businessman. I don't know if he was. Yes, honest, you know. And what he did was, you know, when he would be sharing his cycles and all that, and I think that was dangerous because these people are going to follow you and I have a mind of our own, but it's dangerous. You know, yeah. what I mean, if if people do things right and you know they're you know they should be. Oh yeah, definitely. He was doing things that wasn't right. Yeah. But anyway, so so that and then I seen him get slapped by by Rich Piana. Next thing I see that on um, on um, uh, Johnny Bravo did a video and Kelly Muscle was calling uh, um, Jason Genova uh, retard. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I did not know the damage of this Order 66. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I do not blame God rest so Rich Piana for slapping him around. It probably should have. He should have probably slapped him a little harder. That's very wrong. Now for for Kelly Muscle to get upset, I do not blame him. I wouldn't call someone a retard. I just don't do that. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, um, and, you know, this Johnny Bravo giving false information on him, um, it, it's false. A lot of it's false. But, you know, I don't know if you agree with that or not. Yeah, so, um, so you know, uh, anyway, so when I seen Kelly Muscle doing this, um, I said, wow, I made a video and I kind of, said it was wrong and what kind of person would do this some then when jason called me I, I was hoping that um yeah i was hoping that you know i could help this kid and you know he's been pushed around and all this stuff and so i start working with him i was going to help him with the show i was going to help him with the t-shirts mm -hmm. i was gonna um when i was able to i was gonna get help him uh i was talking to crystal the rocks assistant to get him some stuff okay um and he started calling me like 3 a.m. It was no problem. He would call me 3 a.m. and he would say he can't sleep. He's thinking of his dad. His dad died when he was sick. Yeah, yeah, when he was young. Okay, yeah. And I felt so sorry. And I, I would answer every time, like, you know, anytime he ever called or, you know, so. Yeah. yeah and then he started calling me, asking me. Um, he started saying, uh, um, 
you know, this person, he has to buy steroids from this, he needs 395, and I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't give anyone money or sell anything or do anything illegal like that. Yeah, if yeah. I know he's going to buy it for that, I'm not going to do that because, first of all, it's not just illegal, I also don't want to hurt someone. Yeah. I also don't want to do something to hurt someone. Mm -hmm. So he, he's calling me for that, and then he starts calling me when I'm in that gym working out screaming that his car is, uh, his car is, uh, uh, he can't, it's not starting, and he needs money, and all this stuff, he's a call your mom, I mean, just silly stuff, and yeah. then, um, you know, uh, I finally had enough of him, you know, people were telling me, what are you doing with this guy, and, and all kind of headaches, and so I finally put out a video, and I exposed him why I'm not working with him, and that's what happened with that, my intentions were very good um, for him, and for, like, King Robbie I was working with, because I was always, you know, as, as a young kid, and that's going back to why I respect uh, um, Jay Masters, I always had to take care of myself, and I never really felt that anyone truly helped me. So, like, someone, like, at a disadvantage, like Robbie, or, or uh, um, which I'm not Down syndrome, or autistic, or Jason, you know, yeah. has autistic. These are the people I've always liked to help, even in high school, even off camera. People, the things I do on camera, feeding people, homeless, I do it off camera. I've been doing it for... 25 plus years so you know all i was trying to do is set a positive example but then you have these people you know oh look he's just trying to show yeah i'm trying to show so you guys could maybe do that too yeah i hear you, you know what i mean so that's what with jason jason's not loyal to anyone it, it, it's it was crazy the things he would ask me to do and get yeah. him and it was hard to deal with. But you got to you gotta take it with a grain of salt with Jason. I've learned to do so. And, mm -hmm. you know, just because, like I said, he's a good kid, but he's got issues. And yeah. sometimes the issues take over his requests. <laughs> I guess I can put it mildly. You know? and the thing is, that's right. That's right. The thing is, Joe, I was going to continue. But, I, you know, the, the trolls, they really got too much. You know, Rob, it, you, you get into a hornet's nest with the trolls. And, uh, it's unbelievable. It, it is, it, you know, and uh, I know you had mentioned something before with family and stuff. Now, I, I'm the type of guy, I, I've had issues with people on the internet, and I'll attack them, and I'll, I, I get attacked, and that's fine. I learned to live with it. I'm 50 years of age. I've, you know, I, I've, I've, I learned to just accept certain things, and I, and certain battles I fight, certain battles I don't fight. Um, but I never, but I never go past the person themselves. Like I would never attack somebody and say your wife or your kid or your mother. Yeah, you're yeah. And so and I was like, Johnny had said that you posted a picture of his girlfriend or something. I just, I didn't know. I didn't see it, so I'm just going by what I heard. And I don't do that. Let me tell you why. I just put on the video. He he sent me pictures of my uh, my my uh, wife and some relatives, and he sent that. He said, people are sending it. Wait, where did he get pictures of your wife and so forth? I sent it to him. I sent it to him. Okay. And my, and my wife is very beautiful, very attractive. Okay. Um, you know, and I don't want, you know, um, I love her dearly, and I don't want anyone to, you know, uh, do anything to... Of course, you know, yeah. I don't want her picture out there. No, absolutely, that. I agree with that. I'm saying yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, and he, he's the one that had those pictures, so he did it, and that's why I did what I did. So doesn't that make sense? Um, I mean, I guess two wrongs don't make a right, but they're both wrong to begin with, so, yeah. What happened with that? All right, because to me, that'll get you, trolls will eat you up alive if they, you know, if, if something like that, they feel that you did something wrong, but you're saying it's an even Steven thing, so, I mean, I don't know, whatever. I I don't know the history of that, I just, yeah. Okay. I did feel bad, because, you know, his dad talked to me, and I don't know his girlfriend. Neither do I. I don't know. <laughs> she's never done anything to me. Yeah. And as far as this Dinah Brooks or whatever, I just wanted to, you know, see if I could do a video with her to see if, you know, it would get us uh, uh, more attention. We could do positive things. I don't know her. I don't care to know her. And my wife's more beautiful than her in my eyes. No, I hear you. Right. I'm a married man, too. I understand. Yeah, I totally get you. Yeah, yeah. So so, I mean, all right, well, you, you seem to, you know, you seem to answer pretty much all the questions that I really had, you know, uh, thought up for, to, for you, and, you, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's just, you feel it's, I'm being honest with you? Be honest. Let's be honest. I, I feel you being honest with me. I, the FBI thing and the guys cutting the wires, I have a little reservations about that, but I would never call somebody a liar because I, I felt that, 
the cops weren't watching your house, and I do feel differently after you made that call with me hearing it. So, did you see that? I mean, I I'm well, right there. I, I can't just. Uh, I'm not going to dispute that. I'll take it on no, face I value. Yeah. You, that was the police, and uh, uh, if I could get uh, no, listen. It's, uh, listen, I'm just. I would love to do a follow up with you to see what happens with these other things because, you know, if you have, I mean, you could really put people, you know, make people stop giving you shit about these things if you have these these things that you showed me today in this conversation, Rob. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you could you could follow up with me. You sound like a great guy. I enjoyed the conversation. Thank you. Likewise. You really do, and. Uh, you seem very honest, direct with your questions, and I respect that. And I was prepared. You know, you told me that we're going to have an interview. Yeah, yeah. Listen, so any, any, anything you would have asked me, I would have, I would have answered the best I could. But some things I don't want to mention. No, and I respect that. So you're yeah, like, you're under no obligation to answer any of these questions. Just, just yeah. let, let me give these people a rope, rope, rope. Let them hang themselves. I don't have to do nothing. I hear you. Notice I've been ignoring Johnny Bravo. Let him keep doing what he's doing. Oh, uh, you know. Be surprised. If, let me ask you this. If a person could have a police watch in his house pretty much 24 hours, do you think that's a person that has no power? No. Well, I don't know. It's hard for me to say because I don't know, you know, everything that, you, you know, what went on. Maybe the uh, the other parts that you don't want to divulge had something to do with that and it made it mm -hmm. a little more of importance on their, uh, you know, their chart, their duty chart. So, mm -hmm. well, you know what? I don't know. For whatever it is, you know, I you don't want anybody to get hurt, and I, I think it's just stupid trolls talking shit online, and so that usually means that it just dies a slow death, and it, nobody hears from it again. Nobody gets hurt. Let me let me just uh, say this, Joe. I sincerely, sincerely, from my heart, care for Jason Genova. Mm -hmm. I care for Johnny Bravo. I do. People get in brothers get in fights. People have disputes. YouTubers go back and forth. Sure. We all make mistakes. Yeah. But if I'm trying to set a good example, I was a bad role model, and I do feel guilty for my true supports because I'm getting a lot of people that care. My IG went up 7,000 in two days. Hmm. How was that? And that's, From 500 followers to 7,000. That's my goal pretty good, always, bud. Yeah, I know. I know. My goal is always to my, my, I can get my point across more with, uh, with the YouTube. And it's yeah. fun. I enjoy it. It's fun. Oh, know? so do I. Yeah, that's why I do it. It's yeah. not even that serious. I'll get on there. I won't even plan anything. And it's usually joking about Big Lenny. Big J-Mass would tell me, oh, dude, this is for Big Lenny. I did one about he's, he's my dad. And, <laughs> you know, and half raps or, or Johnny Bravo and the other fool. I uh, did something sexiest man alive to make Johnny happy, to get him some attention. And uh, uh, that's, that's what it is. I love to help people. Let's it's just, like maybe one day you and Johnny Bravo can bury the hatchet. You don't have to be buddies, but you can just be amicable to one another. That's all. You know what? I'll tell you what. If Johnny told me today, I want, and I mean this, Joe. If he told me today, hey, Rob, I'm coming to Michigan and all that stuff. You know what I would tell him? Johnny, I'm going to pick you up at the airport. We're going to have dinner. We're going to talk about things. And you're welcome to stay in my house. No, see that's that's cool. That's yeah. So you have an open mind about this, very, you know? All right. Very, you know, but I just feel he wasn't honest and honorable. That's what. All I right. Mean. Well, maybe maybe I could broker the deal. Maybe this interview and that message will get to him, and then maybe you work it out. I support anything you you do, and anything you ever need from me, Joe. You call me any interview. And I was honest as I could be without giving too much, you know. Yeah, no, I, I, I definitely feel that you, uh, you did, you did back up a yeah. lot of the stuff that you were asked, and I have no, and no does, issue with that. It doesn't do me no good to put anyone in jail or get anyone in trouble or waste our time going. You know, it doesn't. This isn't. This isn't what my goal was. I hear you. All right, cool, yeah. Rob. Thanks. I really appreciate your time, and uh, you. let's keep you in touch. Me, um, what would you do? Email me the video if you want. I'll put yeah, it on mine. I'll 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 yeah. contact you via email, and then uh, we'll uh, you know I'll send it to you. Anything you ever need, you let me know, and I'll also um, anything you want me to post on my IG. Any way I can help you out, Joe. I thank you so much. Same here. Thanks, Rob. Okay, you, you've had Greg Valentino on there, haven't you? Yes, he used to work for us, yep. Tell him he's, tell him he's a cool guy. I would like to meet him one <laughs> I day. I shall, next time I speak to him. I'll pass God that on. God bless you. God
God bless you, my friend. Same here. Thanks, Rob. Take care. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, you heard it. <laughs>